Good morning, folks. Second notice. Major project announcement coming this week for the observers. But in the meantime, let's do the news. Sundiving Comet is heading in to meet its end there, just above the arm holding the opaque disk. Updates are pending. Thus, when we come to spaceweathernews.com, we do find a calm day on our star in terms of CMEs, but the flaring uptick continues, sort of. All flaring came from the northern departing group, which retains delta-class magnetism as a smaller group comes in on the left. It's an uptick in flaring for sure, but a puny one at that. Looking at the solar wind, it appears that the CME we've expected is hitting this morning, pretty much right when the officials predicted it would. Due to it taking nearly four days to arrive, the impact is probably going to be weak to moderate. We'll have eyes on the KP today. You can see that coronal hole down south dark. Let's use it in our full sphere analysis. You can see it down there on the full heliographic. Spinning round to the limb, we see a major coronal hole is cresting on the north right now. We can see that as the green sliver up top left just coming in now and in 211 angstroms. You'll see it as a dark area coming in up there as well. It's about three days away. Of course, that New Zealand rumble from just over a day ago is likely tied to the coronal hole down south. They haven't shaken like that since 2011, so let's hope that wasn't a foreshock because we don't need anything stronger than what we've just seen. Top news article today comes out of Stanford. Despite improvements in safety and increased regulatory protections, it is still dangerous to drink the water near a fracking or oil well. They just cannot completely protect the water storage layers from contamination. Folks, I'd also like to thank you for supporting our book release. 500 hardcover copies printed, 500 copies sold. To keep costs down, we will be switching to paperback in the summer, but Kat and I hit the road this week so we wouldn't be able to fulfill any more orders for about a month or two anyway. The electronic copy in PDF form is still available at otf.cells.com. We've got severe weather returning to the United States tonight near the Gulf where the convergence will settle in this evening. After this, we'll go across the pond, down under, and finish with shots of our star to close. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.